YouTube friends, it's Ginger and I want to bring a message again continuing on the divinity of the Messiah. So um, I've got here the scriptures and you can get it at TorahZone.net for about $30 or on Amazon.com for about the same price. And what it does is it uses the personal name of the Messiah, which is Yahu Yahushua. Now, if you go look up any verse with the name Jesus, look in your Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, and this is what the Strong's looks like. These are kind of expensive. They're like 40 or $50. But if you look in here, it will tell you the Hebrew name is Yahushua. Now, we know it was not a J name given to Virgin Mary um, by the angel of Elohim it, because the letter J is only about 300 or 400 years old. So anyway, that's another proof of that. But now to find out the Father's true name, just look in the front of most Bibles and it will tell you that they have removed the Father's true personal name, which is capital Y-H-W-H, -H, pronounced Yahuwah. And we are not to remove anything from the Word. So this version, the Scriptures, puts the personal name Yahuwah back in and Yahushua back into it. So I encourage you to get it. So I'm going to read from Yohanan, or John, 14. And I'm going to start with verse 1. And just read through because this is really great. John 14, 1 through, well, we'll probably go down through like around 17. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in Elohim. Believe also in me. Now this is the Messiah speaking. Um, if you look in the King James Version in a red letter edition, you will see that it is red. The letters are red. So I want to show you, just in case you don't have one, so that you know I'm not... Um, just making this up. This is the King James, and there it is in the red letters. Okay? So, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in Elohim. Believe also in me. So we are to believe in the Messiah. Believe in the Father, and believe in the Messiah. Now what does that word believe mean? Well, I looked it up in the Strong's for you, and again, Strong's looks like this. And it gives you a broader definition of the words. And so what it actually means is, where did I write it? It's right here. It means um, to have faith in, in, upon, or with respect to a person or thing. In essence, credit. So we give credit to the Father and the Son, not just the Father to entrust, especially one's spiritual well-being, to Christ, or really to Messiah is the correct term. They write Christ in, in, um, in the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance. Believe, believer, commit to trust, put in trust with. Okay, so going on. In my Father's house are many staying places, and if not, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Now this is still... Yehoshua, the Messiah, talking. So who's going to prepare a place for us? The Messiah. It says, I go to prepare a place for you. The Messiah goes to heaven to prepare a place up there for us. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I shall come again and receive you to myself. He's the one going to receive us. Yehoshua will receive us. That where I am, you might also be too. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. To Amma said to him, or that would be um, that would be Thomas. Okay, Master, we do not know where you are going, and how are you, we able to know the way? Yahushua said to him, "I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me." So what he is saying here is that he is the way to the Father. He is life. Himself, he brings life. He is truth. Yahushua is truth. He's not a lie. It's not a myth. He is truth. He's the way and the truth and the life. 
And he's the only way we can go to the Father. We must rely upon the Messiah for salvation. If you had known me, you would have known my Father too. From now on, you know him and have seen. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father and it is enough for us. Yahushua said to him, Have I been with you so long and you have not known me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. Yahushua said, He who has seen me has seen the Father. And how do you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? Yahushua said, I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Okay? Just like 1 John 5, 7 says, there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, Son, and Spirit. And these three are one. They are one. Okay? The words that I speak to you I do not speak from myself, but the Father who stays in me does his works. The Father works through the Son, Yahushua. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me. Otherwise, believe me because of the works themselves. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he shall do also. And greater works than these he shall do, because I go to my Father. He sent us the Spirit. That's what he's talking about. He's sending us, he sent down the Spirit after he ascended back to heaven. And whatever you ask in my name, that I shall do in order that the Father might be esteemed in the Son. The Father esteemed in the Son. Esteemed. Do you know what the word esteemed means? Let me tell you. I looked it up. Um, well, I looked up the word respect because respect was in the definition of believe. We were told to believe on him. And it, respect in the dictionary is high regard or esteem. We are to have high regard for Yahushua or esteem for Yahushua. We are to esteem Yahushua. And whatever you ask in my name, that I shall do, in order that the Father might be esteemed in the Son. Father might be esteemed in the Son. If you ask whatever in my name, I shall do it. If you love me, you shall guard my commands. If we really love him, we'll keep his commands. We'll guard them and keep them. Now, first off, to be saved, you must rely upon the Messiah for salvation. It says in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, For by grace are you saved through faith. That faith there means relying on the Messiah for salvation. For by grace are you saved through faith. This is not of yourself. It is the gift of Elohim, lest any man should boast. If we could do it ourselves, we'd all be boasting, Oh, you know, I saved myself. But, and why would the Messiah have to die on the tree for us if we could do it ourselves? He had to come because he was blameless and he could take the sin of the whole world upon himself to wash our sin away. And I shall ask the Father and he shall give you another helper to stay with you forever. This is talking about the Spirit. Because the next verse says in verse 17, The Spirit of tr the truth. He sent the Spirit of the truth for us, whom the world is unable to receive because it does not see him or know him. But you know him, for he stays with you and shall be in you. So the Spirit is in us if we ask. Yahushua sent down the Spirit. I shall not leave you orphans. I am coming to you yet a little while, and the world no longer sees me. But you shall see me, because I live, and you shall live. In that day you shall know that I am in the, my Father, and you in me, and I in you. So we must have Yahushua inside of us. And when we do, guess what? We in sense have the Father because it says in that day you shall know that I am in my Father because Yahushua is in the Father and if we have Yahushua in our heart, we have the Father in our heart because they are in each other. And you in me, so we're in Yahushua and Yahushua is in us. We're in him and he is in us when we call upon him and rely on him for salvation. He who possesses my commands and guards them, it is he who loves me. 
So we must keep his commandments. Once we do get saved and rely on him for salvation, we must keep his commandments. It says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. He who possesses my commands and guards them, it is he who loves me. There it is. The ones who love him keep his commands, his commandments. Okay? His commands. What he commands us to do, we will keep. Okay? And he who loves me shall be loved by my Father. Do you want to be loved by the Father? Do you want the Heavenly Father to love you? Then keep the commands of Yahushua. Do what Yahushua said. Okay? Esteem him. He told us to. He told us in here that he is in the Father and the Father is in him. Okay? So, Yehuda, not the one from um, Kiriath said to him, Master, what has come about that you are about to manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Yehushua answered him, If anyone loves me, he shall guard my word. Do you love him enough to guard his word? Do you love him enough to read his word? We should read it daily. This is the Heavenly Father and the Son and the Spirit talking to us. And my Father shall love him, and we shall come to him and make our stay with him. Do you want the Father, the Son, and the Spirit to stay in you? Then you should um, love him enough to guard his commands and keep them and obey them and read them. Okay. He who does not love me does not guard my words. Now, if you are not reading his word or guarding it, you don't love him. It says right here. He who, does, he who does not love me, he who does not love Yahushua, does not guard my words. And the word which you hear is not mine, but of the Father who sent me. So really, this is the Father's word. When we say that we love Yahushua's words, what Yahushua said, we're really saying, I love the Father's words. They are one. These words I have spoken to you while still with you. But the Helper, the set-apart Spirit, whom the Father shall send in my name, he shall teach you all and remind you of all that I said to you. Now this is really clear that there's a Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Because it says, but the Helper, it's talking about the Spirit, because the next thing says, the set-apart Spirit, whom the Father shall send in my name, in Yahushua's name, he shall teach you all. So the Spirit's going to teach us. The set-apart Spirit. And remind you of all that I said to you. So the Spirit reminds us what Yahushua said to us. The Holy Spirit, well really we should say the set-apart Spirit. Because the set-apart Spirit is the correct term. In the King James it does say Holy Spirit. And um, if you search that out and study it, you'll find out the Hebrew for that is set-apart Spirit. Okay, so this is really clear that there's th there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Son, and the Spirit. And these three are one. Okay, so and now I want to read from, um, I'm going to go to verse 15 and read it again so that you again see there's the Father, Son, and Spirit. If you love me, you shall guard my commands, and I shall ask the Father, this is Yahushua talking, Yahushua is going to ask the Father, and he shall give you another helper to stay with you forever. It's talking about the Spirit. Because listen, the next verse in 17 says, The Spirit of the truth, whom the world is unable to receive because it does not see him or know him. But you know him, for he stays with you and shall be in you. Okay? So we can have the Spirit in you, in us, if we um, ask. Ask Elohim, ask Yahuwah, the Most High, for the Spirit. Say, send me your set-apart Spirit. And He will. He will not give you a stone, it says in the Word. Okay? Peace I leave with you, verse 27. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. So Yahushua gives us peace. If we rely upon, uh, if we rely upon Yahushua, the Messiah, we get salvation. It's beautiful to be saved. It's wonderful. There's nothing like it. There's nothing more important than loving the Father, the Son, Yahushua, and the 
set-apart spirit, which are